Have you ever wished your words held more power? What if you could speak a sentence and the world rearranged itself to fit your desires to manifest? This reality is to understand that language is not merely a means of communication, but a gateway to power. The ability to bend circumstances to your will and sculpt the world as you envision it. This mastery demands not only clarity and conviction, but also an acute awareness of the profound impact each word can wield. The power of words. Imagine for a mom and that you possess a key capable of unlocking doors to new opportunities, greater success and deeper fulfillment. That key is language. The words you choose to speak, think, and internalize the idea that words have the power to shape reality is not new from ancient cultures to modern science. Evidence of the transformative power of language is abundant and compelling in the beginning. There was the word this phrase rooted in various religious texts emphasizes the foundational role of language in the creation and structure of the world in the Bible. The G, Gospel of John, starts with in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. The profound statement from the Gospel of John captures a timeless truth. Words are not mere symbols, but agents of profound influence and creation. This proclamation suggests that at the genesis of all existence, there existed a primordial force, the word imbued with divine essence and creative power. The idea that the word was with God and the word was God suggests a fundamental unity between language and divine will. It implies that words possess the ability to manny, fest intentions into tangible outcomes aligning human, aspirations with cosmic order. In essence, the act of speaking becomes a sacred act, an invocation of potential and possibility, similarly in Hindu philosophy. The concept of creation through sound is deeply rooted in the idea that vibration and resonance are fundamental to the universe's existence. The sacred syllable Om encapsulates this belief, symbolizing the cosmic sound from which all creation emanates. It is considered the primordial vibration that set the universe into motion, echoing through Tim. E in space as the essence of existence according to This philosophy sound is not merely a word, but a dynamic force capable of manifesting reality. The vibrations produced by speech are believed to shape the surrounding environment, influencing both the physical and metaphysical realms. Thus every word spoken carries potential. The potential to create, to transform, or to disrupt this profound understanding highlights the importance of how we speak and what we choose to articulate fast forward to modern times. We find the concept of words as creators of reality has not lost its significance neuroscience and psychology increasingly show that language profoundly affects our thoughts, emotions, and behaviors to appreciate the depth of this concept. Let's turn to the groundbreaking research of Dr. Mazur Emoto, who studied the impact of words on water crystals. Emoto's experiments revealed that water exposed to positive words like love and gratitude formed beautiful symmetrical crystals, while water exposed to negative words like hate and fear formed disfigured chaotic patterns while Emoto's work has sparked DD. Ebate it undeniably captures the imagination and underscores the potential influence of language on the physical world. Our brains are wired to respond to language when you hear or read words. Your brain doesn't just decode their meaning. It creates a sensory experience. Words like sunshine or delicious can evoke memories and physical sensations almost as if you're experiencing them in real life. This phenomenon is known as embodied cognition, where our cognitive processes are deeply rooted in the body's interactions with the world. The words you choose to discur, I be your experiences and aspirations, can literally shape your reality. By influencing your thoughts and feelings on a deep subconscious level, this connection between language and belief is not just anecdotal. It's backed by science. The field of cognitive behavioral therapy relies heavily on the principle that changing your language can change your thoughts, which in turn changes your behavior and emotions. For instance, someone struggling with anxiety might be guided to reframe their thoughts from I can't handle this to I am managing this situation 
as best as I. Can this subtle shift in wording can create a significant change in perception and response. One striking example of the power of language comes from the world of education. Carol D.W., a psychologist known for her work on mindset, discovered that the way we praise children can influence their beliefs about their abilities when children are praised for their effort rather than their intelligence. They develop a growth mindset. They begin to see challenges as opportunities to grow rather than as threats to their self-worth. This simple shift in language and courage. S. Resilience and a love of learning, demonstrating how words can shape our reality from a young age, language's power extends beyond individual psychology to influence entire cultures and societies. Consider the concept of new speak from George Orwell's dystopian novel 1984. In this fictional world, the government controls and limits language to restrict freedom of thought and expression. While this is an extreme example, it underscores the idea that language shapes thought. The words available to you can either expand or constrain your ability to understand and navigate the world. Consider Viktor Frankl a Holocaust survivor and psychiatrist in his seminal book, Man's Search for Meaning. Frankel recounts his experiences in Nazi concentration camps and how the way he framed his experiences helped him survive by finding meaning and purpose in his suffering through the language he used to describe it. Frankly was able to maintain hope and resilience. His story is a powerful testament to how the words we choose can influence our ability to endure and overcome even the most harrowing circumstances. The Busey Ness World also recognizes the power of words successful leaders, and entrepreneurs understand that the language they use can inspire and motivate their teams, shape company culture, and influence customer perceptions. Steve Jobs, for example, was renowned for his ability to use language to cast a vision and rally people around his ideas. His speeches and presentations were not just about conveying information. They were about creating a reality that others wanted to be a part of this skill is not limited to famous leaders. Anyone can learn to use language more effect, ively to influence and inspire those around them in relationships. The words you choose can make or break your connections with others. Communication is the foundation of any relationship, and the language you use plays a crucial role in how your messages are received. Positive statements can strengthen bonds while harsh or careless words can damage trust and intimacy. Dr. John Gottman, a renowned relationship researcher, found that the way couples communicate with each other specifically, the ratio of positive to negative interactions can predict the success of their relationships. This finding highlights the significant impact of language on our social and emotional lives. Given all this, it's clear that words are more than mere tools for communication. They are powerful agents of change. Whether you are aware of it or not, the language you use every day is influencing your thoughts, beliefs, emotions, and actions to truly understand how to speak in a way that manipulates reality. We must delve into the intricate relationship between our beliefs, the subconscious mind, and, and the power of intention. The role O, F, beliefs, and the subconscious mind, these Three elements form the bedrock of our experiences and the lens through which we interpret the world by aligning them. You can tap into an extraordinary ability to shape your reality beliefs, act as the foundation of our thoughts and actions. They are the mental filters through which we interpret every experience and piece of information from an early age. We form beliefs based on our interactions with the world, our upbringing and our personal experiences. These beliefs often ingrained deeply within us dictate how we perceive possibilities and limitations. If you believe that you are capable and deserving of success, your actions will naturally align with that belief, steering you toward your goals. Conversely, if you harbor self-doubt and negative beliefs, you will unconsciously sabotage your efforts. The influence of belief on our reality is evident in the placebo effect, a well-documented phenomenon in medical science, when patients believe that they are receiving a treatment. Even if it's just a sugar pill, they often experience real improvements in the our health. This effect underscores the power of belief. 
and expectation, which are fundamentally shaped by the words used by doctors, researchers, and the patients themselves. The mere belief in the efficacy why of a treatment triggers the body's healing mechanisms, demonstrating how powerful our minds truly are in shaping our physical reality. Sigmund Freud, 18th-century Austrian neurologist study on the subconscious mind, provides a foundational understanding of its profound influence on human behavior and perception. Freud conceptualized the mind as consistent, g of three parts, the conscious, the preconscious, and the unconscious, which is the subconscious, the subconscious mind. According to Freudian theory, houses deeply rooted beliefs desires, memories, and instincts that greatly shape our thoughts and actions. Freud posited that the subconscious operates below the level of conscious awareness functioning as a vast reservoir of impulses, fears, and unresolved conflicts. It is akin to a hidden realm where memories often repressed due to their discomforting nature continue to exert influence over our behaviors and deck. Isions unlike the conscious mind which processes information. In a logical and linear manner, the subconscious operates holistically and intuitively. It forms the foundation of our automatic responses, habits, and emotional reactions, influencing nearly every facet of our daily lives. Freud's insights into the subconscious highlight its role as a powerful force in shaping personality and behavior. Think about the parable of the elephant and the rope. In this tale, a young elephant is tied to a small post with a strong rope. Despite its best efforts, it cannot break F. Re over time, the elephant comes to believe that the rope is. Unbreakable as it grows into a powerful adult, it still remains, tethered by the same small post and rope, never attempting to break free because it has internalized the belief that escape is impossible. This illustrates how our subconscious beliefs can limit our potential even when the reality is different to harness the power of your subconscious mind. It is crucial to feed it positive, empowering messages. This is where the power of intention comes into play. Intentions are the guiding force behind our, our thoughts, words, and actions. They are the conscious desires that we seek to manifest in our lives. When you speak with clear intention, you align your words with your goals and values, ensuring that they contribute positively to your desired outcomes. Setting clear intentions is like programming your subconscious mind with a specific goal. When you repeatedly focus on an intention, your subconscious begins to work towards it, often in subtle and unseen ways. This process is similar to planting a seed in fertile soil with the right care and conditions. The seed will grow into a robust plant. Similarly, when you nurture your intentions with positive statements, mental imagery, and consistent effort, they begin to manifest in your reality tone and emotion, play a crucial role in effective speech. The way you deliver your words, whether with warmth and empathy or with authority and conviction, can significantly influence how they are received and interpreted. Tone conveys emotional nuances that words alone may not capture, making it essential to your tone to the message you wish to convey. Consider the example of a motivational speaker addressing an audience, the speakers. Tone of voice gestures and facial expressions convey enthusiasm, passion, and belief in the audience potential. This emotional resonance inspires and motivates listeners to take action and pursue their goals in contrast. A flat or disinterested tone can diminish the impact of even the most inspiring words. Emotionally charged language can also evoke strong responses and create lasting impressions when you speak with genuine emotion and authenticity. Your words resonate more deeply with others, fostering. G. Connection and trust emotional language has the power to stir hearts, spark enthusiasm, and inspire positive change. But how exactly can you speak in a way that manipulates reality? How to manipulate your reality with words? The first step is to become aware of your current speech patterns. Listen to the words you use every day. Are they filled with doubt, fear, and negativity, or are they imbued with hope? confidence and positivity. The words you habitually use reflect your inner state and in turn shape your external reality to change your life.
You must change your words in the world of self-help and personal. Development positive statements are a widely used tool to harness the power of words. Positive statements are words that you repeat to yourself to challenge and overcome self-sabotaging and negative thoughts. When you say, I am confident and capable, you're not just stating a fact. You're planting a seed in your subconscious mind over time. These seeds grow, helping to shift your beliefs and actions. Louise Hay, a renowned author and motivation speaker, significantly contributed to the popularization of positive affirmations, positing that they possess the power to transform various facets of one's life, including health relationships and financial success. Her work is grounded in the belief that our thoughts and words have a profound influence on our physical and emotional well-being. Hayes' approach encapsulated in her best-selling book, You Can Heal Your Life Advocates for the Consistent Use of Positive Statements to Foster Self-Improvement and Holistic Healing. Hayes' philosophy is built on the principle that negative thoughts and self-talk can manifest as pH. Isical ailments and emotional distress, she argued that by consciously replacing negative beliefs with positive affirmations, individuals can reprogram their subconscious minds, leading to improved health and well-being, for instance. Affirmations like, I am healthy whole and complete, or I am worthy of love and respect, are designed to counteract self-destructive thoughts and promote a more positive and nurturing internal dialogue. Incorporating positive language into your daily routine can begin with simple changes. Start by paying attention to your self-talk. If your inner dialogues are filled with words of doubt and criticism, shift them to a positive outlook. This can have a profound impact on your mindset and motivation. Remember the subconscious mind is always listening and absorbing the words you speak both to yourself and to others. The science of neuroplasticity supports the Effectiveness of Positive Statements Neuroplasticity is the brain's ability to reorganize itself by forming new neural connections throughout life. When you repeatedly think a particular thought or perform a specific action, you strengthen the corresponding neural pathways in your brain by consider consistently using positive statements. You can reshape your neural networks, fostering a mindset that supports your goals and desires. Consider the story of Muhammad Ali, the legendary boxer, known for his confident and bold affirmations. He often declared, I am the greatest. This simple yet powerful affirmation not only boosted his confidence, but also influenced his performance and how others perceived him by repeatedly affirming his great Ali programmed his subconscious mind to align with his desired reality, contributing to his extraordinary success. One practical way to integrate positive statements into your daily routine is to pair them with actions that reinforce their message. For example, if your positive statement is, I am confident, practice behaviors T. Hat reflect confidence such as maintaining good posture making, eye contact and speaking clearly. This alignment between words and actions helps solidify the new belief in your subconscious mind, making it more likely to manifest in your reality belief reinforcement is another technique that aligns your speech with positive intentions. This involves consistently affirming and acting on your beliefs to strengthen them over time. Start by identifying any negative beliefs that may be holding you back. Once identified, challenge these beliefs with positive affirmations and evidence that contradicts them. Another effective Technique to align your subconscious mind with your intentions is through focused awareness on the present moment. This helps you become more aware of your thoughts and beliefs, allowing you to identify and address negative patterns. It provides a space to quiet the conscious mind, making it easier to communicate with the subconscious during contemplation. You can focus on your affirmations and imagine your desired outcomes, reinforcing the positive messages you want to embed in your subconscious image. Inning your future outcome is a powerful technique to align your subconscious mind with your intentions by vividly imagining your desired outcomes as if they have already been achieved. You send a powerful message to your subconscious. Athletes often use this to enhance their performance mentally rehearsing their actions to create a strong neural pathway in their brains. 
This mental practice primes their bodies and minds for success, demonstrating the close connection between thoughts, beliefs, and physical reality. Think about the story of Jim Carrey, the famous actor and comedian early in his career, Carrey wrote himself a check for $10 million post, dated it 10 years into the future and kept it in his wallet. He would frequently take it out. Imagine his success and reinforce his belief in his potential, remarkably almost 10 years later. He received a role that paid exactly that amount. Carr's story illustrates the power of setting clear intentions, visualizing success and believing in your potential. Finally, we turn to the concept of existentialism a key concept in shaping our reality. Existentialism is a p. philosophical movement that emerged in the 19th and 20th centuries, prominently associated with thinkers like Soren Card, Friedrich Nieker, Jean-Paul Sartre, and Albert Camus. This philosophy emphasizes the individual's experience of existence, focusing on themes like freedom choice responsibility and the search for meaning in an often indifferent or absurd world. One of existentialism core tenets, famously articulated by Jean-Paul S., is that exist existence precedes essence. This means that humans first exist without any predetermined purpose or nature and must then create their own essence through actions, choices, and experiences. Unlike objects that have a defined purpose from their creation, humans must forge their own identities and destinies. Existentialism posits that humans are fundamentally free to make their own choices. However, this freedom comes with the burden of responsibility, as every action and decision contributes to the shaping of one's identity and has consequences not only for oneself, but also for others. Satra famously stated, we are condemned to be free, highlighting the paradoxical nature of human freedom lies. T is both liberating and burdensome living authentically means, acknowledging one's freedom and responsibility, and making choices that are true to oneself, rather than conforming to external pressures or societal norms. Authenticity involves self-awareness and integrity. Living in accordance with one's values and beliefs, Card emphasized the importance of individual passion and commitment, advocating for a life lived sincerely and with purpose. This authenticity requires a deep and often challenging introspection to uncover one's genuine desires, beliefs, and value. As free from external influences and societal expectations, it is through this process of self-discovery and acceptance that individuals can truly shape their reality leading lives that are more fulfilling and true to their essence words play a crucial role in this existential journey. Language is not only a tool for communication, but also a means of expressing and shaping our inner experiences and perceptions. The words we choose to describe ourselves, our experiences and our aspirations can greatly impact our reality by articulating our thoughts and feelings. With clarity and conviction, we can manifest our truth, selves and influence how we interact with the world and how the world responds to us. The power of words is a timeless and universal force that transcends cultures and epochs from ancient scriptures to modern psychology. The evidence is clear. The language you use shapes your real ity by understanding and harnessing this power. You can transform your beliefs, influence your subconscious mind, and direct your intentions to create the life you desire. The journey begins with a single step, or in this case, a single word. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.